Okay, that's Windows fully up to date. So the next thing I want to do is get all our hard drives to show up on the PC. Click on the Documents icon, and then we click on this PC. What you'll notice under Drives and Devices, we've only got one disk showing up, so Local Disk C, which has 434 gigabytes left of 465. But we've actually got three hard drives installed in this PC, but two of them aren't showing up, so we need to fix that. So to do that, if we go down to the search bar at the bottom and type in Disk Management, and what will happen, the control panel shortcut will come up with Create and Format Hard Disk Partition. So if we click on that, and it's asking us we're going to have to initialize the disk before we can use it. So we're going to click OK. So now we can see our drive. So disk zero has 476.92 gigabytes of unallocated space. Disk one is exactly the same. And then if we go down, we can see disk two, which is our M.2 SSD, which has our operating system on it. So we need to go ahead and format the drives, drive zero and drive one before we can use them. So what we want to do is right click on the space and create new simple volume. We're going to click next. Next, because we want to do the whole of it. We can allocate the disk a letter. So at the moment it's been allocated D. I don't see any reason to change that. So I'm going to leave it exactly the same and then click next. So under this, we can pick what file system we want to use. We can allocate the unit size and pick a volume label. The only bit I'm going to change is the volume label. That's what the drive is going to show up as. So I'm going to call it KC600A. I'm going to hit next. And then we click finish. And what you'll see now is that drive has been formatted and there's now a partition on it. So it's just a matter of repeating the same step with disk one. So right click, new simple volume, Next, next, it's going to give us drive letter E, that's fine, next. The only thing we're going to change is the name, so KC600, KC600, and we're going to call it B, and hit next, and finish. Okay, so now that's shown up and you can see the devices have a letter and also a name. If we scan down to our main drive, which has been formatted as C, it doesn't have a name. So if we want to add one, we just right click on it, go to properties, and then we can type a name into the box. So we're gonna call that Sabrent Rocket, and then click OK. So you now see all our drives have names and letters. So we close this down and go back then into this PC, what you'll notice is that all our disks now are showing up. So we've got all three drives available to us. So we've got the Sabrent Rocket, KC600A, KC600B.